I'll now demonstrate how to upload images to the Stealth Station system. There's three different ways to upload images to the Stealth Station. First way is by CD or DVD, which is uh, in this panel here. Uh, there's an Ethernet port on the back side of the Stealth Station system, and you can use that to import images via the network. And the last way is using a USB drive, which I'll demonstrate now. So we'll put it in the super speed connection there. And when it pops up, you'll notice all of the scans that are on the USB drive. I'll click the first one there, hit OK. It'll show you the number of slices as well as the scan name, patient name, however it's labeled. I'll hit download. Takes a moment to download. Once it does, you can click on this panel right there and then it'll take you to this screen. On this screen, you can click and drag any of these CT scans to the center. You can also click and drag the 3D image and you can use either with your hands or with the mouse. I'm using the mouse at the moment. You can use kind of clicking this white hash mark on the right hand side to scroll through the different slices. In this phase, you can scroll through the slices. At the top of the page, you also see the patient's name or how the scan is labeled, their date of birth, uh, as well as the slice spacing and thickness and you can get a little bit more information of the scan when you press more. Various features to point out on the side are the measure tool. If you click that, you can click and drag and measure anywhere in the anatomy that you'd like to measure. You can also correct. So if for some reason the scan isn't accurate to what the patient is showing on the table, uh, you can rotate, reorient how you would need to after correcting, let's say you zoom in too much, too out, you can recenter, and then you can also move it around and browse through the slices. To adjust the contrast, you wanna click this sundial symbol here, and you can adjust the level or width right here at this bar, or you can click the actual scan itself, side to side, adjust the width, up and down, adjust the level. So what I like to do is a staircase method, go side to side, up and down, until you're happy with how that contrast is. In this step, you cannot crop or auto refine your images. I'd also like to point out that you can use CT scans, MRIs, and a combination of both as well. To get images for each stealth station procedure, please follow the recommended Stealth Station imaging protocol for ENT. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the technical support line at Medtronic.